I'm Ebony Monet here on North Shadeland Avenue. You can see here behind me the traffic continues to flow as Metro Police investigate a serious accident. Police tell us that the driver of that truck did stop and is cooperating. At this time, we do not know whether or not alcohol was involved. Beach Grove authorities are calling this a classic case of suicide by cop. In fact, one official I just spoke to tells me he doesn't know how it could have been avoided. The Indiana Crimes Against Children Task Force made the arrest yesterday. This came after a tip from a concerned citizen that received a text. The 10 point coalition is out here and has been for much of the evening trying to keep the peace in what has been at times a very tense scene as more family members of the man who was shot and killed by police arrive. Ideally, first responders say they want to get this expectant mother to the hospital as quickly as possible, but that was just not an option today. They say everything was happening so fast they had to care for that mother and her newborn child right there in the parking lot. And they say that was especially difficult with a limited space in her car. Born eight pounds, five ounces, Brandon Lewis Jr. is a typical drowsy five day old, but his beginnings were anything but. I told daddy, I said, on all of his paperwork, Daddy, it says he's born at Eskenazi, but in real life, he wasn't. <laughs> he was born on the side of 40. <laughs> Early Tuesday morning, Summer McCandless wakes up with contractions, her signal to go to the hospital, only she's determined to get to Eskenazi Health, nearly 60 miles away. I was in the left-hand lane, you know, because I'm going 90 all the way up there, and I'm thinking, well, if somebody pulls me over, they can just take me to the hospital. She's on the phone with the 911 operator when the gaps between her contractions are less than a minute, and she has to pull over. I was telling her, you know, he's pushing, he's he's coming. And she's right. When he came out, he just came in the seat right in between my legs and I mean he's back in the back seat saying, Mommy, are you okay? Mommy, are you okay? The now mother of three says there is a moment of panic when Brandon doesn't cry. I'm thankful, you know, that he was okay. You know, so many things could have went wrong. You know, and me being there by myself. If he wouldn't have started crying, you know, I wouldn't have known what to do, how to save him. McCandless says first responders get there about one minute after she's given birth and find a healthy baby boy born in the front seat of his mother's car. And he's perfect. There's nothing wrong with him. So it's, it is a true miracle. Many displaced residents came back to their neighborhood today. In fact, when we spoke to some of them, they were ripping up carpet that's been drenched. They've been also throwing out waterlogged, damaged property. And they tell me tonight they are still very worried, not only about more rain, but thieves. Neighbors being rowed to safety. Others taking their chances slogging through flooded Manhattan Avenue, sites Sally Carroll thought were once in a lifetime. My husband and I at the time put our uh, photo albums and all my pictures high up. So I, I knew from the first time, because I did lose a lot of the kids' uh, school papers and pictures, you know, that can't be replaced. So I knew ahead of time to do that. So that was, that was a blessing. They know because they've gone through it before, 12 years ago. Carol says FEMA representatives then declared her house a total loss. I cried. I cried yesterday too. I don't even want to think about it. Carol's daughter shows us some of the damage. They estimate the water got up to 16 inches high. The family's furniture and newly remodeled kitchen is a washout, and there's no flood insurance to help. We didn't have a mortgage at the time after that flood, and so we just chose not to. Never thought that it would happen again. I really didn't think, I mean, we didn't think about it. This time, they won't rebuild. And then I've been here for 30 years, and there's memories here. The Carols say rather than worry every time it pours, they're leaving the house they've called home for nearly 40 years. You have good memories, yeah. so, I mean, you can't have your memories taken away, but, yeah, yeah. it hurts, but life goes on. Some longtime residents think that the flooding was made worse because of this creek, which is right here behind us. They say it was clogged for a long time with tons of debris, leaves, and trees, and also so was a drainage pipe. Officials looked into it, and DPW workers came here yesterday to clear it out just in case. Reporting live on the west side, Ebony Monet, RTV6. This fight between two women in the health and beauty aisle of the Beach Grove Walmart has been watched millions of times on YouTube. In the comments section, people question why no one stepped in to stop it. April Hurley says she was thinking the same thing as she stood feet away. Is this really happening in Walmart? 
Yeah, it was, and I kind of got, you know, a little shaken up. I kind of got a little adrenaline rush from it. Hurley starts recording the confrontation seconds before it escalates to blows. It was kind of automatic reaction, um, based because, basically because a lot of times things happen and there's no proof. The video shows a six-year-old boy not only witnessing the combat, but getting involved. You see him hitting and kicking Rebecca Mills. His mother, Amber Stevenson, is charged with neglect of a dependent and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Authorities charged her after these videos surfaced. She's heard telling him to punch Mills in the face. I think that it's fair. Um, I think that, you know, she should have to go through some sort of parenting classes or something. You cannot engage your child into criminal activity, especially at a young age. I mean, this is what he's learning. This is our future. This is our children's future. You can't just go around engaging your child into fights like this. Hurley says people standing around, including herself, worried about the implications of getting involved. My gut instincts like get in there and break it up, grab the kid or something. But, you know, I had just had surgery and I couldn't really get involved in that. Ebony Monet, RTV6.